crazy. I wonder if they're actually going to bloom or not, but here they are. The apples are blooming. That's blooming cool. So, um, welcome to Northern Hill Farming. Um, this is our orchard. Uh, we have here a very young, beautiful apple tree trying to bloom and grow. Um, this is really cool. I'm excited for it, actually. Um, we also have pear and peaches over here. We got cherry over there. And we're going to have four persimmon trees coming here eventually sometime soon. And then we also have, as you can tell, the stakes in the ground here. Uh, I tried to do this boxing on each tree, and I realized it's totally crazy. You can't kind of work at all. So what I decided to do after that was I um, tried to put a big fence around the whole thing. And I'll leave enough room to leave my lawnmower between everything here. Um, for how many years? I have no clue, but right now, good for enough for me. Um, so this is short bloom for another seven years, but I feel blessed to have it right now. So, so here you see my mess of supplies. Um, the first time I ever used this thing, I think they have a spring there if you don't hear it. That spring will save your butt. So, spend an extra $3 for this one here. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, my first time doing a big fence. I've never done a fence ever in my life. So, it's an interesting process to do it. Um, you will see how it comes out here eventually soon. So, after the first day, I think I did it every straight moving up the road. Um, turns out, not everybody measures the same way. So, the way I measured some, you know, straight for the most part, and then my wife started measuring some, and heard a different, she was measuring from a different angle than me. It happens, uh, it's okay. But then after I realized, I'm like, oh, String would be perfect for this deal. So my first fence, I learned the hard way. Do a string, get everything straight. So this is we have two of these gates that we chose for this property, this orchard. Um, that way we can drive our truck right through here, or water all these trees. Um, it, it fits the truck perfectly and it'll work well. If um, rabbits become a problem, or you have solar cutter. Sorry, any other small critter that's too small to be a problem. I was just gonna tie a wire mesh at the bottom here, and that way, small critters won't get in. Quite a few trees. We got three pecan trees, we got three, four apple trees, three peach trees, three pear trees, three cherry trees, and hopefully, here soon, four pristine trees. Um, we're doing this garden mostly because, well, figured plant now, and then hopefully seven, eight years on the road, we'll have enough to actually just start making stuff out of it, you know. Um, so there's that. Um, that being said, I haven't quite figured out how to do the adjustments for stuff. It turns out, once you plant a tree, that tree only has, like, what, 15 years of growing fruit before it dies off? But I had no clue about that before I did this. <laughs> but, hey. The biggest challenge for me building this whole fence was honestly, <laughs> was the string. I don't know why, I think it's a lot to figure it out. Um, I'm putting on the stroke personally, but um, I should use the string the first time I did this fence. But it helped me a lot sooner um, to get the road straight that is. But other than that, um, it's the only tool I've really had. So, over here with the orchard, we also have a we also have our pollinator garden here, and um, these are our first wildflower, native wildflowers that are growing to us. So, have a blessed day.